Hey everyone, today we are gonna be showing you how to make a modern nightstand. I hope you enjoy our DIY. Okay, to begin, we used our table saw to cut all our pieces out. I'll add a link in the description if you need the list of supplies and plans for this nightstand. Once we were done cutting out all our pieces, we decided to have a cutout for the handle instead of a knob on the front drawer. Since we didn't have a router saw, he attempted to cut it out with the table saw. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't let him do this again. Don't try this at home. I was literally cringing the whole time he was doing this. Yes, I tried to stop him and I was totally surprised it worked. Okay, following that, we used a metal grinder bit and an angle grinder to soften off the edges and straighten out the shape of the cutout. Day two of our DIY, I just got up in the morning and went out and got some Gorilla Wood Glue. Grab that one. This one? Yep. I'm not gonna pay for it. <laughs> You're not gonna pay for it? I'm gonna buy my own candy. Sheesh. We are cutting our legs and we're gonna start putting it together. For our legs, we decided to have them fan out a little instead of just having them sit straight up and down. So we cut the top and bottom of the legs angled at five degrees using our miter saw. Then we decided to taper in the legs since the two by threes were looking a bit too bulky. We also used our miter saw for this. Then to smoothen out the edges, I used the angle grinder again. I love this thing, gets the job done so quick. Okay, now that we had all our pieces cut out and ready to go, we started putting it together. To begin, we first assembled the sides and the bottom of the nightstand. We applied a layer of glue on both sides and used our brad nailer to secure it more. Following that, we secured the back of the nightstand to it with the glue and secured it with some more brad nailers, nails as well. I love this brad nailer, it saves so much time. Okay, once we had the sides and back secure, we moved on to securing the front drawer. We used tiny metal hinges and attached them to the bottom of the drawer. I pre-drilled some holes to make sure the wood doesn't split and we purposely used a screwdriver instead of a drill to be extra careful. Um, yeah, I was a bit worried this wouldn't work. I've never done it before, so I was super happy to see that the drawer was functional at this point. Yay! <laughs> Following that, we moved on to installing the legs. I marked one and three fourths of an inch away from the edges of the bottom of the nightstand so the legs would be centered once we attached them. Then we applied some glue to the trim between the legs and we secured the both together with the brad nailer. He shot some nails into it from an angle. You can combine them before you glue it to the nightstand or after, it doesn't really make a difference. Following that, to secure the legs to the nightstand, he pre-drilled a hole in the center for his screw. Since our screw wasn't really long enough, he used a bigger drill bit to countersink the screw so it goes in a bit deeper. Yay, love his tricks, this worked perfect. We only did one screw in the center per leg on the bottom, then he flipped it over and pre-drilled four more holes to secure all four legs with long screws. He also used a countersink drill bit on them so the screws would settle in nicely. Then we attached the top with some glue and brad nails and installed this magnet door catch to the side of the drawer. I was a bit worried that this magnet wouldn't be strong enough, but I was pretty surprised. It is super strong, a lot stronger than it looks, and it worked perfect. whether we should add little squares in these corners because they're bugging us. I guess since we wanted the front or this shelf to be, what are those brackets? Instead of it sliding open, it just like folds open. Mm -hmm. So we had to do the build a little different, which left these little holes on the sides. Basically you screwed up. Yeah, we screwed up. DIY. So now we're adding little squares right there. <laughs> I don't know if it's better or worse. I can't tell. 
close it. Let's see if it's better. Boom, baby. Mm. Honey, I just wanted to say I couldn't do this without you. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs>